that, that looks really deep. <laughs> I think it's a little too deep. <laughs> what the heck? No, it's not that deep. This is the point where we get stuck and totally miss the sunrise. Nice! Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to, I guess you could call this a vlog. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a tutorial on how we color grade our drone footage. Hey, it's Steven from the future. We decided to tweak this video just a little bit, not only show you how we color grade the drone shots, but how we edit them from start to finish. This will include the speed ramping and the sound design. Anyways, back to the video. It's like 6.45 in the morning right now. We woke up at sunrise to make it to what is called Christie Falls. We are here with Aiden Feds once again. What's up? <laughs> he is here from the last drone video we did as well. If you go check him out, he has some amazing photos on Instagram. Follow him right here. So we're gonna hike into Christie Falls right now and we're gonna get a sweet drone shot using a tent, a waterfall, and a whole lot of fun. Let's do it. Should be pretty short, like 800 meters. Was not expecting there to be any snow or frost on the ground, but I think it might look cool because the white contrast, I don't know, it's a little different. It's really, really cold right now. Now, obviously, in order to color grade drone footage, we have to record some drone footage. We're doing a precision flying shot today because I know everyone loves those. And then after, we're gonna go take this into Premiere and show you exactly how we color grade our footage from start to finish. on the edge of the cliff right now. I don't know if you can hear me at all because it's super windy, but this is it. We got the tent right on the edge. And if you notice, I don't know if I'm pointing in the right direction, but Mitchell is way down there. Let me, uh, all the way, way down there. So the, uh, that's the plan for the shot. It is absolutely freezing up here, but we're gonna do it. It's gonna be fun. Gotta delicately, I'm gonna take my shoes off because I gotta respect Mitchell's tent. So I'm gonna be sitting in the tent here. Mitchell's gonna be flying the drone through the tent. It is absolutely freezing, but it should be good. I think we're ready to, ready to begin. Ready? Are you ready? <sighs> I might get my nose chopped off by the drone here. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Getting nose chopped off by drone. How to color grade your drone footage. Yay! Three, two, one! Here we go. Oh man, it never ceases to amaze me. That is sick. How does it look, Mitchell? Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Good. That's sick. Oh. That's gonna be perfect. Oh. Hello, everybody. It's uh, Mitchell here, your pilot for this morning. It was a pretty successful flight. Not too much turbulence. There's a uh, little cloudy skies, but that made up for some uh, really good-looking drone footage. I think we got the shot, so we're gonna go into Premiere and show you exactly how to grade it. Now that we're out of the freezing cold and back in the office, let's dive into Premiere and I'll start with how we color grade the drone shot. To begin, I always like to start with the basic correction to tweak the exposure of the clip. Because the Mavic Air has pretty bad dynamic range, I like to pull back the highlights to fix all the blown up parts of the image. Next, I like to increase the contrast. This really makes the colors pop, as well as in general makes the shot look better. Contrast and highlights are pretty much the most important thing when working with the Mavic Air, but apart from those two, I'll change everything else to give the shot a basic neutral grade. 
When it comes to the LUT, I'll usually apply one but only have it about 30%, not to overpower but just to stylize the shot. Now that we're done tweaking the basic exposure and color temperature, I want to move on to changing the colors. I don't always have a standard way of doing this for every drone shot because it always changes on the location you're in and the ambient colors of that location. For example, this shot is very yellow, so I've used HSL Secondary to enhance the autumn colors. So if we hop over to HSL Secondary, you can see that I've selected all the yellow colors here and shifted them towards red to make them pop. Next, I've changed what little greens there are in this shot to increase the saturation and make them stand out more. To do this, I use an adjustment layer because you can't change more than one color with HSL Secondary on the same layer. The reason I like to use HSL Secondary is because it gives you a more precise control over the colors you select and editing the colors over, say, the curves. Really quickly, I'm gonna go over the speed ramping. We rarely speed ramp our clips, but in this case I did it just to speed up the reveal of the cliff. Finally, I'm going to go into the sound design. The music I use for this shot is just a subtle build, and then I like to put the crescendo right when you fly through the smallest or most important part of the clip. So in this case, it would be the tent. As for the sound effects, it really adds a lot of depth to the video. Right now, I'm going to take out the music and show you the shot with just the sound effects, and then after, I'm going to go in and break them down for you. Because obviously the drone doesn't have a microphone, you need to start from scratch. So every single time it flies by an object, I like to put a whoosh sound effect. And that's what all these orange shots are here. Next is the wind. Because we're in the forest, there isn't too much wind, so I only added it once we flew through the tent, and it drops off. Another thing I've done is add any special sound effects that you may think would be in the shot. For example, when I fly through the tent, I add a cloth rustling sound effect to make it seem like the drone is shaking the tent. We get pretty much all of our sound effects from Epidemic Sound because they have a huge library of really high quality sound effects. If you're interested in getting a free 30 day trial, you can head down to the link in the description below and we can hook you up. The last sound effect I added was a hawk sound effect. This never actually happened, but it's a really nice accent to the shot. A quick tip when you're doing this is to add one, maybe two, and that should be enough. So that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this extensive breakdown of how we do our drone shots. If you guys are new here, go down, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. It really helps us out. If you want to go follow us on Instagram at TMS Productions underscore, and we'll see you guys next Monday. <laughs>